Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to continue with writing our software that is a, an SMS plugin of sort that will do external queries to external APIs on different servers and eventually send up uh, some SMSs. However, we're going to do it in a professional way. And one of the things that really caught my eye as I was planning this out was WooCommerce. If I go to my users right now, I have one user, I'm actually able to just check this and then change the kind of role that I do have. So I have shop manager here listed as a role and I can change my particular user to just a shop manager. Now, the shop manager does not do so much apart from managing the WooCommerce shop. They will not edit, make new posts, they will not make new pages and so on because they have been limited in what we call capabilities. So in our plugin, we're going to have SMS uh, manager. We're going to have to create that role ourselves and then we are actually going to kick off with our plugin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get most of this data from our plugin that we have here and I'm going to save it in a different text file. So I'll just make a text file here. And then I'm just going to dump all our functions that we've been using in here. I'll just leave only the register, the, the menu, the admin menu, that's what I'll leave there. And then I'll take the rest of the other content out. So I'll cut this and then Save this, May we'll revert to this uh, a little later. So what we're going to do here is save this. We still have our plugin page showing up here. So I'll just open up this function and just do something very simple. So we have this function and what it's going to do, it's just going to uh, basically echo our header one. So we'll have header one that will close off and we'll just say uh, SMS admin and then save that here. So will we'll load and we have that showing up. So we're going to restrict this to uh, be able to be shown to someone who is either an SMS admin or an administrator, fully administrator and so on. So what we're going to do here first and foremost is actually add our new role. So I'm going to use the WordPress uh, functionality that is embedded in for us. So when we look at uh, the, the codex, we see that we have an add role that requires a string of role, a display name, and then it will require uh, an array of capabilities. First of all, we have to show that this is actually true and then we can add the other possibilities of roles. And how do we add those roles? Um, when we go to roles and capabilities, we're able to see the different roles that are assigned in WordPress. By default, we have super admins who are created when we create a multi-site. We have administrators, we have editors, we have authors, contributors, and subscribers. And each one of those has their own kind of uh, superpowers or powers or whatever roles or capabilities, whatever you would call them. And this could include creating sites, deleting them, uh, deleting posts, editing the dashboard, uh, publishing pages and so on. That's why you're able to have subscribers in your site, but they will never post I will, uh, pay a post for you. They'll never do anything. They cannot even submit uh, anything. So the roles that subscribers usually have is just to read uh, data. Then we have contributors who can delete some posts and edit posts that are uh, theirs. Then we have authors who have a little more powers to delete posts and delete other posts from other uh, from the, their own posts, edit them, uh, read, upload files. Then we have editors who can edit even other people's posts. Uh, and do private pages and posts and delete published pages. Then we have the administrators who can basically add plugins and themes, delete them, edit them, add users, create new users. So we're going to have our SMS admin as a new role and we shall assign them a couple of uh, user roles and we're going to sort of equate them to um, what uh, a contributor is like so that they're able to only edit their own posts and maybe delete them but they cannot do so many other things. So let's jump into that code and, and see how we can actually add this in. So uh, we shall have a hook here so we're going to do admin add action and the hook we shall use is init when WordPress is initialized. What we're going to do is add a function and the function is uh, we're going to call it SMS add user user 
role. So we'll copy this and then add the function. Yeah, so function, add user role. And after adding this user role, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to add role, which is here. So the role name is going to be SMS manager, SMS manager. Then what we're going to do is add now a description. We're going to add a display name for them. So we'll just basically copy this and make it better. So copy, replace this, and then I'll just change this manager to SMS manager. And then for their capabilities, it's going to be an array of information. So we'll start off with our array, close that off. In our capabilities, what we're going to do first of all is add the role to be able to read. So we'll append that and say this is going to be true. So sorry, it would be a comma and say that is true. So when we come back to our users here, we should be able to now we check change roles. We should have SMS manager showing up right here. Now with that, we're able to add more capabilities and I'm going to be looking at adding some other capabilities. So the new capability that I'm going to do is I'm going to add edit uh, posts uh, they should be able to delete their own posts. So delete posts is going to be another. So I'll wrap this in single quotes and then just add the true to each. So true and save this. So what we're going to do is create a new user on this side and we're going to call them Eric, say Eric, at wana dot vala. That's not an extension we know of, so call him Eric Wana and uh, we'll give them a show, uh, sorry, an SMS manager and then we'll give them a password or maybe DuckTales 2020. DuckTales 2020. So don't send them. So let's save this. And what we're going to do is come incognito so that we can see log on and then we shall go to our local host. Uh, YouTube and then at the end do slash WP admin. So what I'm going to be looking for here is Eric and then we're going to use our DuckTales. So we can now see that our SMS manager actually cannot do so much. So they can go to their profile, edit it. So what we're going to do is let's add some more roles and say edit published, edit published posts. Uh, they should be able to upload files, uh, then publish posts is here, delete publish posts. So let's sort of make them like an author. So delete publish posts. So they're able to edit, delete, upload, read, publish posts, edit, and delete those posts. So uh, I'm actually going to just close this out and then I'm going to actually remove this role. So let me remove this role. It's going to be a string and I'll add SMS manager. Uh, let's reload this. Uh, let's sign out and then deactivate and activate our plugin again. Let's go see the users. And then we see now there's no role for uh, Eric and we don't have our uh, SMS manager. So what I'm going to do is just comment this out Then I'll add this role again and save. Let's reload this have SMS manager it was stored in in there so let's go back to our incognito login to Eric Darkles so when we log in now we can see that he actually has posts I is able to upload so we have attached media so we can actually compose he can see the posts that have been written he can just view them because he doesn't have the powers to edit other people's uh, posts so they can just view them uh, but if we give him a role to edit other people's posts then he could be able to edit all of them so we want the person to just publish edit delete and read. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove uh, the delete posts role because I don't think they should be able to delete the SMS that they have set up. So we're going to use basically custom post types to sort of trigger uh, those uh, those posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, they should not uh, edit their own publish. They shouldn't delete published. Uh, they should be able to edit, edit and delete but all those that have been published should not be published. And then uploading files, no, they shouldn't publish. So I'm just going to give them a few powers. Let's see what this looks like. So first of all, going to re 
remove this wall again, save, reload, so they're not able to edit, delete, and then I am going to reload this wall again. Save, do this, reload. I need to reassign, so they're able to actually create a new post. The new post would be new post. That would be the new post. Publish it. And then once we go back to the back end, they're not able to see other people's posts. They can only see their own post that they published and they cannot delete it. So that's what we are looking at having as our post manager. So you can be able to add so many roles. You're able to remove a role if you need to do that. Uh, for example, I'm able to see a number of roles that remained after I removed certain plugins. That should be going out with the plugins. This is a big issue that I have with WordPress. It, when you're deleting the plugins, it says we'll delete all the data and so on, but this doesn't go out. So as part of our removing, uh, when we are registering our function, so part of the rules that I'll be adding when I'm deregistering our plugin, so register, deactivation. So when I'm deactivating the, the plugin, I'll add, a, I'll use this file and I'll add a function, which is basically just going to remove this uh, role. So save this, then add this, then I'll do a function, which is a deregister role. So SMS manager deregister role. So that will be the function we'll use to deregister our role. And all it's going to do is just remove the role of SMS manager. So I'll copy this and change it here in our functions. And using single quotes to make this a legitimate key. Okay. So we'll save that. So on deactivation of this plugin, let's say if I go to plugins and then deactivate this plugin, what will happen is if I go back to users, you actually see our Eric Wana doesn't have any role because I've deactivated that. But when I reactivate, I should be able to use this uh, SMS manager. So let me just do that. SMS manager add role. So I'll duplicate this. I just remove the DE to activate and then copy this and paste this here. So at the initialization of our plugin, we're able to register the function or to deregister it in the event that we are letting the function go. So this is a, a very simple thing uh, that we, we did. I hope you use it in your pro in whenever you're programming. I'll go back to plugins, activate this. So if I come back to users, we have Eric and then SMS manager. So I hope you can use this information as you wish, depending on your needs of your plugin. So you can add a new user role or you can remove it, give or take. So enjoy using this new information that you found. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.